Dude, I love it. Like, I, I love it. Dude, it's crazy. It's so, like, it's got to weigh a ton, right? Like, a, oh, it weighs 12,000. Listen. So crazy. <laughs> so it's like, it, with all the weight, how's it handle? Oh, it actually like, handles really, like, all the suspension's beefed up. It yeah. handles so good. Like, legit stops on a dime. It's really? insane. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, no, for real. You don't believe me? I mean, I believe you, but. Let me, I, I'll show you. You have to like see a, it to believe. Acting it. like it's a Ferrari. All right, hey. Get in this bucket. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop right here, and it's you will be amazed. Want me to get in it. You know what? I'm so confident. <laughs> right there. Get in that bucket. Are you scared? <laughs> no, dude. I'm. All right, all right, all right. All right. Okay, we're gonna do. I'll even put this here in front. So like, there's a little bit of cushion there. And, what, and you're just gonna. St I'll stop right here, but get here. Like you can trust. I, that's a lot of. That's a lot of wiggle room. I've done dumber stuff. I, I think. I trust you. Yeah. All of my kids trust you. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Hey, I don't care about them. Let's go. All right. I'm more worried about the uh, the table than you should the, be because I got this part. Your breaking power. Okay, you have to get down though because I don't want you to see it or you're gonna get scared and you're gonna bail. Okay. Yeah. So like I've I done can, this like that. 20 times. I'm a pro. I can do it. For sure, it works. All right. You gotta trust. Whatever me. you say. I'm actually. I'm gonna come in hot too. Like you're gonna. That's why I don't you <laughs> that's see a, it. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'm, I should face this way. Yeah, that'd probably be good. <laughs> All right, let's do it. I'm gonna back it up. Like if I know Matt, he's just gonna like creep up and make me think that he, you know, he's gonna hit me. test on asphalt, I just remembered. But I almost nailed it. This episode of Demolition Ranch is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Are you searching for something that will make your life infinitely better? Well, you found it, my friends, and that is Raid Shadow Legends, the greatest mobile game of all time. Halloween is right around the corner, and Raid has some brand new super spooky champions. Check out the mask Fearmonger. He's obviously a freak. That's what I like about him. You want to creep out your enemies? Use Little Miss Annie. She has a super ridiculously powerful attack. But if you want your enemies to just give up and go home, use Brakus the Shifter. No one will want to fight that guy ever. He's freaking scary. This creative monster is one of those that, like, if Frankenstein wasn't scary enough, yeah, you have him. What's cool about Raid is all the champions in the game have different skills and abilities, and they all have different levels of attack, levels of defense, magic levels, and it makes it to where you can play the game in a million different ways. And this one's real cool because it is jam-packed with special events and activities, tournaments, lots of prizes to win. Brand new champions, Raid is bigger, better, and busier than ever. There's really never been a better time to join Raid than right now. And if you want to get a huge head start in Raid, all you have to do is hit the link in the description or scan my QR code, and you'll get an epic hero, Chanaru, who's amazing in the Doom Tower, 200k silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill, and 1 ancient shard, so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in the game. Once you're in, you can Find me in the game under the nickname Dr. Demolition, and if you're fast enough, you can even join my clan. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. And it's really that easy. Click the link in the description below, and I'll see you in the game. Thanks to Ray for sponsoring this episode of Demolition Ranch. Welcome to Demolition Ranch! I'm joined here today by Roman Atwood. Oh, who hasn't been you? on the Demolition Ranch video in a while. It has been a long time. Yeah, I mean, and it's good to have um, you back. You know, your barrel experiment was awesome. Yeah. I think you could... Practice Your a few more times. A Next bit. guy, yeah. So we're not gonna do any more of that. This is a armored suburban. It's a B7 level, which means it can stop at 50 BMG. And we, this is part three. We've done two parts so far, shooting it with up to uh, large pistols, and uh, I think we hit it with a 308 as well. We hit it with a few rifles, AK, AR, and I think a 308. Um, and it has so far stopped every single round we've shot at it, whether it's glass or the doors, anything. It has stopped it. We have not shot the tires yet. And we were told this thing has run flats. They look like regular tires. Um, there's some, some BF Goodrich all-terrains, KO tires, but they apparently have a run flat thing in them. I actually don't really know much about run flats, but they basically, if you pop a tire, you can still drive on it. So we're gonna see first, what bullets can these tires be hit with without popping, if any. <laughs> right? We got a 22, maybe. And then if we do pop them, 
uh, how easy this thing is to drive afterwards. I've driven this thing a lot. The suspension does work well. Um, stops on a dime. Stops on a dime on pavement, <laughs> not necessarily in dirt. A uh, normal Suburban weighs 6,000 pounds. This one weighs 12,000 pounds, which is at least double as much. At least. So uh, <laughs> they've beefed up the suspension. They've beefed up the drivetrain to handle that weight, but we want to try to shoot the tires and then see how it drives. Got to do it. You in? I'm oh, in. Do you think? Got to do it. Do you think a 22 will get through? I don't. I think we'll be okay with a 22. You think we could shoot? You, should we shoot sidewall or should we shoot tread? This is the weakness. Yeah. Let's right? shoot. Let's shoot 22 at the tread first. I'll oh. turn this wheel, shoot it, and see yeah. if it pops. I think you'll be okay with the 22. 22 long rifle out of the Walther P22. Just try not to hit the car. I think all the air is coming out. Yeah. Yeah. You have no faith. Yeah. I, it's a gun. And you believed you'd stop before you hit the barrel. <laughs> I was wrong. Are right, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I hear it. Oh, it is leaking. I thought it was. I couldn't hear it because I had my earplugs in. It it's barely. It's close. It's right. Right here. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Okay. So that. Man, that's, that's a lot of air. That's, yeah, you can't stop that. <laughs> All right, let's shoot something else. Nine millimeter now. Out of a Hudson. All right, firing. Sounds about the same. Oh, it's like it's, the same hole. It, it is. It looks That's the same. That's wild. Close back up. All right, let's do something bigger. Both of these are leaking out of here and here. Next is the 5.7, the FN 5.7, shooting the 5.7 by 28. Sweet little gun, but this shoots a teeny tiny little bullet. So it should penetrate, but it's probably gonna also make a small hole just like those did. We shall see. I'm impressed with, it's already taken two bullets and it's still got air. Fire in the hole. Oh, right here. New one right there. Ah. Leaking, there are still all three leaking. I want to try something bigger now, a 45 ACP. I just want to see if we can make a bigger than like pinpoint hole in. Yeah, it seems like it closes back to that size. Tiny, so. yeah, like pencil lead size. 45 is a big old fat boy. It's right there. Cause yeah, it's that one. They're all the same size. 22 through 45 are all exactly the same size hole as far as you can see. Like we never walk up and be able to tell which one is which. They all look the same. So, 50 cal? <laughs> Just jumping right up. Let's do it. Woo! The old chrome deagle. 50 cal. You got a deagle. You know how to handle this bad boy. Well, I, I've never shot a car. Question is, is the hole gonna be the same? This is also a hollow point, so it's gonna wanna open up. So, I don't know, we'll see. Let her rip, tater chip. I, I, I just, <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I thought you meant that truck tire. Oh yeah, let's, why, did, why did we leave that, that seems Raptor? seems like an odd place. We left the Raptor downrange. It's not even my Raptor. <laughs> I think it'll make a hole big enough that we can tell. Let's we'll see. Uh, that's what I thought on 45 too though. Yeah, it's, I don't know, it's a mystery. Oh, oh that's a big hole. You can hear that. I can feel it. Oh yeah, look at that. There ain't no stopping that uh, thing. That's what it takes. Yeah. It takes a big Giant boy. One. That's a okay. big boy. That tire's about to be flat. Okay, yeah, so normally when a tire goes flat, I think they usually sit a lot lower. I mean, this thing looks very flat, but it still does look drivable. Yeah, hit we... that thing dead center too, first try. Nailed it. It's crazy. <laughs> should we uh, Should we try to drive it on this? And just... Yeah, I mean, that's out. It's out of it air. It actually just ran out. It's done. Yeah. So let's just drive it around and see how it feels. Whip it around. We do have a low tire pressure warning up. Really? Also a check engine warning. Huh. All right, so I just want to see if I can feel a difference here. I don't know what it looks like. I can hear a difference. It sure feels like we're driving normal. I'm gonna have to hit the reverse here before I knock all our tables over. The glass looks way cooler inside. Fine. Oh no, you can definitely feel it. Oh yeah, it's baggy. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's so clean. Yeah, and you would really be able to feel it if you were on an asphalt road too. We we'll get back to the range, and we'll see how this tire looks. All right, let's see if it stops on a dime now. Send it. Not bad. Okay. <laughs> It 
if we were being shot at and we were uh, we would still be running. We could for sure we get away. Definitely still be running. Let's pop some more tires. Now we're gonna do 12 gauge. This. There's a button. So I got too many shotguns. I don't know how they all work. Hey, sweet. This is a one out slug. So this should make a really big hole and let all the air out really fast. New tire. Brand new tire. You ready? Fire in the hole. Here we go. Woo! I was right. Well, it's nice and cold. That was yeah. Why is it so cold? Because when the air expands, it co it cools down. Actually, does. So obviously, that worked. We're gonna go ahead and pop the other two tires now as well in the back, the back side. We're gonna hit it from behind. We're gonna hit it in the back door. Ba back tire. 338 Lapua Magnum. Have you ever shot a 338? I have actually never shot. It's a really fun. It doesn't kick. This is a big heavy gun. Armor light AR30. Heavy. I don't know about that. Shooting at the Premier Body Armor. Armored Suburban down there. What are you shooting, back right tire? Which one you want me to shoot? Shoot that back right tire, I hate that back right tire. Here we go, back right, going down. Oh, dang. Sweet! You got it. <laughs> Holy cow. Boy, the air came out instantly. How did that pop so much faster than a slug? Let's go see, you must have blown a big old hole in it. Just the impact, didn't have time to close up. That was wild. Good shot, I think you hit it. He went through the pipe with it. Look how s perfect. How did I hit the pipe? <laughs> and then it came out the pipe this side. Look at that. And then it went in here, giant hole, and then it came out here. It actually no hit, way. It hit the rim here. Came out right there, hit the rim. Oh, that's a nasty round. Dude, if 338 did that. Wow. What is 50 BMG going to do? <laughs> That's crazy, they hit that much stuff. And still kept going. And still just busted this rim. This is a heavy duty rim, no, if you no. can't tell. Like this is made to carry a ton of weight. And it busted a hole right through it. Like a perfect 338 size bullet hole. Yeah, that's flat right there. That's Dude, that problem. makes me believe that 50 would have went through both sides. We did talk about, what if we just lined them up and we just shot the 50 through both sides? But we were like, we don't really know what's inside here. If it has like a big piece of steel, like it's not gonna go through both. So we decided to shoot one with a 338, one with a 50. So now I guess it's time to shoot one with a 50. And Gotta then we'll have it. four flat tires. Four flat tires. Super fun story. Quickly. Why do we, why'd you buy that? Why do we buy that? I actually forgot that you tell this story, but I, this, yeah, I totally had forgotten that that's why I bought this Barrett. A long time ago in a video, we, I came out and we shot a different 50. I don't I, remember that. It, it was a Serbu BF, BFG 50A. That's not, it's something like that. Yeah. And we were basically meeting in Vegas and we both wanted a Barrett and basically you buy one, I buy one. Yeah, like we talked about, like, man, we should buy Barrett's. So that's why you have that. You bought a tan one, right? Yeah. Eventually he would've got a Barrett, but I, we kind of like nudged each other to buy Barrett's, so. I need to get my gold Barrett back. What gold Barrett? I have a gold Barrett. I don't know where it is. I don't know where it, no. I sent it <laughs> off to Barrett to get some work done and they kept it for months. Barrett, if you see this video, send my Barrett back to me. To me, my place. <laughs> this is a M82. Uh, Barrett, 50 BMG. It shoots this little, you probably thought I was just happy to see you, but it was a 50 cal in my pocket. It's a very large bullet, and I don't know, it might or might not pop this tire. Barrett, coming in hot. What a beast. That sunk really fast, the whole car just went Okay, we now have no air in any of our tires. It's right there, right? Is that? Yeah. That's it. That's it. Just uh, a tiny little. You can't even tell. I don't know. That looks really weak. It definitely hit it though. That's all I can tell you for sure. And it didn't come out anywhere. What I was kind of wondering, the brakes are in here and this thing has a big brake kit on it, like aftermarket big brakes. And I was wondering if that bullet would go through the wheel, the tire and then the wheel and then hit the brakes and like lock it up to where we couldn't drive it. So Ooh. I'm actually not sure. We're gonna try to drive it and see if it drives. If it does drive, then I just wanna see how much different it is running on the run flats, which, I mean, this definitely holding up more than if there was just regular tire on there, but. It's not rim to dirt. Yeah, I've never seen what run flats actually do, so wow. let's go see. Wow, wow, OMG. Oh, 
Something's wrong. That's not good. I just wonder if like a rim is about to crack in half. Oh, we're going, oh it does. It feels like I'm floating. You're on a water bed. Oh, it is steering. not turning. It's so bad. Still driving though. And run flats maybe aren't for like when all your tires are flat. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the odds that they hit all of our tires? We're gonna get some speed and just see what happens. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Wow! It's like I'm trying to control a wet noodle. That's a, oh shoot! It just died. I don't know what's happening. It's not revving up now. I feel like we should open our door. Something feels weird. Everything looks good here. All right, let's send it. Can't stop, won't stop. She looks rough over here. Look at that tire kind of pulling in now. I mean, it's still up off the ground. The, rim really is, is. the rim's not on the ground. It really is. I think that's working. Let me try another challenge. I hit the spider den. Oh my god. Oh. Look at that. Oh! Dude. Oh. There's like a thousand of them. There's freaking million of them. Uh, I didn't even see that. Where did that even come from? It's a good thing I was in my four-wheel drive armored Suburban though. Took them like, out. Like. Oh, there's so many daddy long legs. Not easy to control on You're rocks. eating trees, dude. Like in a normal car, when you you give little motions on your wheel, the the car goes that way. But this, like, there's so much slop because our tires are floppy. It is working. It does drive, but it's just slop. And so it's hard to do fine motion. So yeah, we've decided run flats are awesome. This car is awesome. I regret shooting it because like this actually would get us out of everything. It's a bit sad in the times we're living in, Matt. I know. This 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 has potential to be used. We just need a few more body panels and a few more armored tires, and it'll be fine. Totally fine. Like to get over this like these dirt mounds and then come right back over with totally flat tires in a vehicle that weighs 12,000 pounds. Don't forget, this is not a normal vehicle. It weighs 12,000 pounds and it just drags itself right back over. It's like a skid steer. <laughs> yeah, it did, it just plowed. <laughs> I really thought it was gonna go up more, it just plowed the dirt. Oh! Ow! Ow! Oh, wow! Why does that do that? Uh, I wanna say thanks to uh, Frank from Premier Body Armor for letting us do this. Uh, Letting us destroy his car. You are the man, and you're you you built a very good product. Amazing. Very good. Amazing. <laughs> so this is part three of a five-part series. So I'm thinking for part four, we'll do that soon. And this thing's rated for 50 BMG, and we have yet to shoot it with a 50 BMG. Shoot the actual car. Oh, true. So I'm thinking maybe on part four we get a little crazier. Unless you guys want us to restore it, we let can restore them, let them, it. Let them in the comments tell you what you should do with it. If you guys want no. us to totally restore this to mint condition, <laughs> uh, then we can do that. So you just let us know if you'd rather us do that or if you'd rather us destroy it. Maybe I'll call Whistling Diesel and see if he wants to help me restore it to mint condition. <laughs> Y'all in? Roman, thank you for coming. Matt. You're the man. Thank you, Demolisha. Thank you for having me and allowing me to be in the video. It's so fun. I so miss fun. you coming out. You need to come oh, get in the man. videos more. I miss you guys. We need more Roman. If you want to see more Roman, comment below. I'll put him in the description below. Go check him out. If you've never, for some reason, seen Roman, you should go check out what he has going. And yeah, I, I'm really excited for part four. It's a really good day, man. And you're going to love it. <laughs> what you do? Right. 
my god. Dude, that thing just <laughs> fell apart. My elbow. This car's a piece of junk. Thanks so much for watching this episode of the Ranger. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Contact line! It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor.